Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I've already shuffled the cards for time purposes, so let's get right into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Now, in regards to your finances, you have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles in your finance sector could represent um, experiencing a little bit of difficulty, a little bit of blockages perhaps in your finance department. Um, for others of you, it could represent experiencing perhaps a partner um, that has either recently or has been going through a drought of work. Um, so it could represent like the partner um, having lost their job or perhaps not making enough money and almost like the stress or the burden lies on you, Leo. Um, for others of you, it could just represent feeling like there's not enough, whether it's in finances or we'll see right now. But uh, in regards to specifically your finances with the element of earth, um, I, do, I do see definitely like a struggle for some of you guys. It could be monetary type of struggle. Um, but for others of you, I feel that this is more connected to emotions. So we're going to see. Now, in regards to communication, element of air, you have the high priestess. So the high priestess, um, yeah, I definitely see that for some of you guys, you may be experiencing feeling very nostalgic. I think that December in general is a month where a lot of people start to be very reminiscent of the past. And of course, it has a lot to do with the holidays and the celebratory type of energy that you know, triggers our subconscious um, and we're often either kind of reminiscing or thinking about the past, perhaps past relationships. Um, but with the high priestess, I feel that you guys are being led or you guys are being guided towards your highest potential Capricorn. Um, okay. So this is for Leo and I just had Capricorn. So for those of you guys that are currently dealing with a Capricorn, I highly encourage you to go check out their video. Uh, perhaps it's something that is connected to both of you, Leo or Capricorn. Um, but anyways, the high priestess could represent almost tapping into that of the spiritual realm or wanting to know about things of the unknown. For some of you guys, it could be following a new creed, a new religion, a new uh, practice in general, but it is more connected to the spiritual realm than to that of religion. Um, now, with the Five of Pentacles, I feel that a lot of you Capricorns are currently experiencing um, perhaps a spiritual awakening is what they're telling me because I'm getting almost a feeling like like questioning why things are going a certain way in our life and it could be because you're lacking something with the five of pentacles now the five of pentacles doesn't necessarily mean lacking in romance or lacking in finances it could represent that your soul is needing to be fed and the only way to be fed is through spiritual connection so for some of you guys if you've been wondering or looking towards the past up until now if you feel that at some point um, you feel like you've been lacking or you've been experiencing a lot of obstacles, a lot of difficulties, uh, a lot of challenges and trials in regards to life itself. Um, the high priestess is here to tell you, you need to feed your soul Capricorn and Leo. Sorry, I keep saying Capricorn, not sure what the connection between you and a Capricorn is, but it's almost like there is this feeling of wanting to know, but perhaps for some of you guys, you may be scared or a little bit intimidated about the spiritual or about the unknown. Um, but again, there, there's almost this feeling of resistance. And I feel that the resistance that's coming or that you're experiencing has a lot to do because you're not feeding your soul. And the only way to feed it is to either be connected in some shape, way, or form to spirituality, to spirit, um, whether it's religion, whether it's practice, whether it's meditation, whether it's um, whatever it may be or whatever it may resonate to you. I feel that that's what's very important and that's what's calling or pulling towards you, Leo. So I think that for the month of December going into January, you guys are going to be experiencing a lot, a lot 
of spiritual awakenings. For some of you guys, it could be that you're starting to experience prophetic dreams. Now, the Five of Pentacles is connected to the physical realm, um, which would, quote unquote, represent, you know, here um, in Earth. So again, the high priestess is all about the subconscious, is all about the unknown, the truth that lies behind the veil. So for some of you guys, it could, in fact, represent being very spiritually inclined or having a lot of spiritual awakening, prophetic dreams. Pay attention to your dreams, Leo. I think that you're being guided. Or for some of you guys, it could be that you're experiencing the missing of a person that perhaps was a relative, a family member, a loved one, someone that passed on to the spiritual realm. And they're trying to connect with you. Or they're trying to evoke a message through your subconscious, which would be in a dream state. Um, but it's almost like you're either trying to ignore it. For some of you, it could be because you're, you know, a little bit scared about that. Um, for others, it could be just that you're intimidated or that the dream feels too real and it's kind of scary when you think about it, that type of energy. But pay attention to that, Leo, because I feel that you guys are being guided and this is going to guide you uh, towards that pivotal moment where there is a complete transformation for you. That was a long message, sorry. <laughs> All right, in regards to your challenge. So your challenge here is the five of swords. So you have two fives. So there's definitely an inner struggle that is with the mind and the physical realm. So I definitely do see that a lot of you Leos, perhaps some of you guys are even tuning into that of manifestations. Um, it could be tapping into the esoteric working with spells it could be um wanting to know wanting to know the unknown but there is a inner struggle that is going on with you for some of you guys you're very interested very curious but the other part of you or the other part of your brain is like it's scared it's unknown um so you're wanting to know but not wanting to know so it's almost like there's resistance there Here's the thing. When I see two fives, this is talking to me directly about an inner struggle within ourselves. So it could be, uh, again, like I said, having very prophetic dreams, uh, being pulled towards the spiritual, but resistance because there's fear behind it. But what Spirit is telling you is that whether, so if you open yourself up to connecting with Spirit or to listening to your dreams or listening to your intuition, the more you're empowering your intuition, which is that of yourself, think of it as a GPS, and you're opening yourself up to that. If you've been feeling that there is something going on behind your back or that there is, as an example, if you are currently in a relationship and you feel like something is off or they're hiding something or keeping something from you, pay attention to those messages because those are red flags. That is spirit telling you, open your eyes, pay attention. A lot of the times, how many times have you guys experienced when you walk out the door or when you are going towards your car, as an example, and you see cars passing by, etc., and you don't realize that someone you know just passed by until they honk or they call your name out. When that happens, it just means that you're not aware of your surroundings. So as an example, if I walk out the door, um, even without really being attentive towards the people that are passing by or the cars that are passing by, I would be able to perhaps notice a car that was parked there and has been parked there for the past two hours. Um, and someone that I'm with didn't notice that, but I did. Uh, that's being very inclined, being very grounded, very in tune with your surroundings. And because of our everyday lifestyle, because our fast lifestyle, the lifestyle that we tend to live, very quick on the move, on the go, those are the smallest or most simplistic things that tells us or shows us that we're so very disconnected um, because we don't pay attention. So again, I feel that it's very important for you guys to pay close attention to your messages, to your intuition, pay attention towards what you're being pulled towards because it's like they're trying to open pathways for you. They're trying to show you or they're trying to raise the veil from that of your doubt or wanting to know about something. And they're trying to show you 
the truth that lies behind, but you're not paying attention. So pay attention to that Leo. I feel that you guys are going to be tested spiritually for this month of December. Um, and when I say tested, I don't mean in a bad way. I just think that you guys are going to be tested in the sense of what you consider to be real. Um, and what you would consider something impossible or what you would consider something that is out of your reach, perhaps paying attention or listening to those signs that spirit is giving you, you will quickly notice how beneficial it could be for you. And whatever you thought was an obstacle, whatever you thought was impossible is going to be possible for you. So there is a lot, a lot of positive uh energy behind this because it's almost like we condition ourselves uh, from childhood to believe in certain things, you know, to, um, you know, not to believe in certain things, etc. And it's based off of other people's, you know, realities based off of other people's experiences. And they teach us this. So it's almost like the universe is like, okay, you want to know how you're going to, you know, reach happiness in your life? I'm going to bring you this, or I'm going to open this possibility, or I'm going to create a miracle in your life that only you would think in a million years it would ever happen, but then it does happen. So it's like, is does that make it real? Or is it just real because you're perceiving that or you're experiencing that? And if that's the point, then you've been living, quote unquote, a lie because you've been living off of what other people have taught you. And that's not the way to, that's not the way to live. So what they're trying to say is you are the only one that's creating your own limitations, Leo. Now, in regards to emotions, in regards to emotions and relationships, you have the page of swords. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. For others of you, you may be dealing with a perhaps a child, a child that is of a air energy. And I feel that you're going to be very tested. Tested in the sense of, okay, so for some of you guys, you may be experiencing that your children may start to be a little bit more rebellious than usual. Um, and I think that as a whole, as a general, Spirit is trying to teach you some lessons here. Um, now, if you are dealing with someone specifically that is that of an air sign, I think that they're going to be very aggressive for this month, aggressive in the sense of, communication. They could be very uh, not patient. They could be very even nasty or mean with the way they communicate, especially if you're dealing with an ex-partner or a partner that you have a, ch a child or children with. I feel that they are going to be finding or looking for any excuse just to argue and bicker because they're just, because they are just bitter. Now, for those of you, for those of you that, for those of you guys that have been very guarded in regards to love, so I'm speaking directly to those that have been single for the past year or more than that. I feel that you guys have been very guarded because of the experiences you've had in your past. And I think that for some of you, if you often find yourself in relationships where you're taken for granted or where they don't appreciate you or where you end up feeling like they abused you in some shape, way, or form, this has a lot to do with your choosing, Leo. So... This is a very separate message from the message that I was giving to those of you that are dealing with children that are being rebellious or perhaps confrontations with the father or mother figure of your baby daddy or your mama, baby mama, sorry. Um, this is directly to those that have been single for quite a while or to those of you that often question or ask yourself, why do you end up being in such toxic relationships? And what Spirit is telling you is that you have no one else to blame but yourself, Leo. So when I say that, pay attention to the people you tend to draw in. 
they all have something in common. It could be, you know, whether it's substance abuse, it could be whether they're the macho type, whether they're narcissistic, what they, they all have a certain tendency. And what spirit is telling you is that in order for you to outgrow that, or in order for you to find something very different, you have to put in the work, Leo. You can't expect them to just fall on your lap and be like, this is, you know, the perfect one. What they're telling you is you are what you attract. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for a very long time because of past experiences, Spirit is telling you, stop being so guarded. Stop being so confrontational when it comes to relationships. It's almost like they have to prove themselves to you. So in all, I feel that this is going to resonate very different for many different or many of you out there. I think that there's specific messages depending on what you're currently going through because this, this reading seemed all over the place. Um, so I think that for a lot of you guys, there's going to be a lot of spiritual inclination this month. For others of you, your belief system or what you've come to believe up until now is going to be tested. Whether it's, again, relationships, toxic relationships, whether it's still dealing with people from the past that are very toxic. Whatever it is, Spirit is telling you it's time to cut those cords, to be able to experience a new life or to be able to experience a different outcome. Now, I'm going to be pulling out a card for you, and this is going to be Spirit's direct message to you, Leo, for the month of December 2019. Yep. So we have here a time for healing balsamic moon. I think that what they're talking about here directly connects with this. I think that a lot of the times when we go through difficulties in our life, we have two options. We become the victim or we take responsibility for the actions or situations we put ourselves in. And, I'm, and this is not to be misinterpreted. I don't mean in the sense if someone does you wrong because you trusted them, it's your fault. No. What they're saying is you are always in control, Leo. Regardless of how you feel, you're always in control. And it has more to do with how you react to certain situations that define if you feel you're the victim then you will continuously keep feeling or experiencing situations that make you feel like you're taken for granted. If you take responsibility and you say, you know what, I probably have something to do with the fact that I tend to attract people that are emotionally unavailable or people that are married or people that are just players and they just don't want to settle or women that are just gold diggers, um, whatever it is. You can't go you can't go throughout your life blaming the universe for things that continuously keep repeating in your life because if they keep repeating it means you're not getting it and if you're not getting it you're not learning from it. I hope that you guys take these messages for what they are and um, like share and comment and we'll see each other soon. Bye.